Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Vortac and welcome back to Mechanica. Today covering the 1.0.13 update, simply titled Bear Trap. And uh, as you would imagine, we have a bear trap that we can play with now, which is really exciting and fun. These bear traps can be crafted in, uh, I'm gonna get to these building materials in just a little bit, but these bear traps can be crafted where you would normally find your defenses. So your laser swords, your knife throwers, your rake traps, now bear traps. Kind of going backwards a little bit in terms of just the simplicity of the traps. We've been, we already started out with the Tesla coil and the really high tech stuff. Now we're going back to the more primitive traps, which I feel like is a sign of things to come because more primitive things have been added to Mechanica in recent updates. These traps only cost four steel ingots, two screws, and one copper wire. So with them being so cheap, we can make a bunch, except I ran out of screws, and we can just litter our landscape with them if we want. You can leave these as is, they will chomp you, and right now I am trying to move. I cannot, I am completely stuck. Uh, I have not tested this on a robot yet. There have been plenty of them, so we may go ahead and do that. It's also worth knowing these, noting these traps are programmable. So you can uh, have a button that manually triggers the trap, something that resets the trap, and then variables, variables for when they're armed, latched onto a robot. So you could latch a robot and then have a rake trap, go ahead and swing at it. Uh, and on triggered events as well. So a lot of possibilities as always with new things added to Mechanica There's just so many things your brain just starts going nuts with different ideas of things You could be doing to play with these uh, One place I could be putting these is right over here because I always get robots sneaking around the this side of Jeff so I can kind of place them like this They always kind of hug the wall. I don't know if their AI will tell them. Hey, there's a trap ahead I don't think it will and I think they'll simply just get chomped. If one of them shows up during this update video, uh, <laughs> I'll be sure to show you that. Let's step back inside though and check out a couple of other things that were added to the update. So these are the new beams that have been added to Mechanica. I have to admit, I don't mean to be negative, but I'm very underwhelmed by these. Uh, these beams are, in my opinion, very, very, very small. I was really excited to see them added in the, I believe, construction menu here. You have a steel short beam, long beam, and then corners and joints, things like that. So you can actually build with these, and that's really cool. But I think the scale it leaves a little bit to be desired when you consider how big a base ends up being in Mechanica. I would love to know what the thought is, what the process is for getting these, because this is how big one room is. I have two of them side by side right now, and I can actually live in here, you know? I can actually put stuff down, there's plenty of room. Those beams, albeit cheap, will require a lot more effort to build with. So maybe there's a different purpose, and I would love to know in the comments what you would use these for, but I'm, I'm not really seeing myself use these in their current state. I would like to see much bigger beams and more, op more uh, customizations in terms of construction, so I'm not limited to just building with the same exact walls and foundations that everyone else uses. Aha, this is perfect. An onslaught of robots walking around the wrong side of the ship. Let's see how the bear traps take care of these guys. I'm just gonna create a little wall of these. Let's see what happens here. They're walking right through them. There we go, there's one. It sounds like I caught a couple. Let me turn on my defenses real quick and just get rid of the riffraff. All right, and struggling to move out here are three robots that I managed to kidnap. <laughs> so they are not moving. They're not going anywhere. Let's see if we can get this one to get chomped up. Come here. There we go. <laughs> So we can just beat these guys. They kind of become little pinatas for us to play with. And we can definitely, because they just get held in permanently, essentially, we can definitely get these guys hit by other traps, such as the knife throwers, laser swords, things like that. So bear traps, a lot of fun. Another noteworthy function would be tool tips. We can actually take our mouse and hover over different items and they give you a quick description of what they do. And also very helpful, we can hit E to drop the object just by putting our cursor over it. Uh, I don't know if that was a thing we could do before, but it's cool that the tooltip is there to remind us that that is in fact a function of uh, <laughs> of the game. Another part of the update I really want to show off is uh, 
there are now some buttons added. The knife thrower has a button, which will simply just throw a knife and then recharge. And then there's an on off button sitting on top of the flamethrower now, similar to how the Tesla coil has always had its own on off button. So that right there just gives you some more manual control over these two items. And of course, one of the bigger things coming soon to Mechanica is multiplayer. We're still not sure when, but this update, just like the last one, has been working on back-end items for multiplayer. Rewrote various objects for multiplayer compatibility was listed in the improvements. So I'm really, really excited to that multiplayer is still on the way for Mechanica. And uh, with that, that would conclude all the updates in here that I have for you to show you anyway today. Um, and uh, just so you guys know, I haven't been able to make more than one video a week. I really would like to get back into doing that. Things have just been crazy, but I've been desperate to play more Mechanica and play with my base more. I've been wanting to get it more optimized. You can see I've wired it up. It's kind of a mess. And uh, there are a lot of things I'd really like to do. And I'm getting to a point now where I may want to rebuild and just start a whole new base somewhere, not too far away, just so I can set up, because I'm noticing that the terrain is very limiting over here by Jeff. And now that we have vehicles, it'd be kind of nice to travel from a more welcoming home to my more industrious area around Jeff where all the mining occurs. In any case, that will conclude today's update. I hope to see you guys soon in more Mechanica videos. Thank you so much. If you subscribed, that is awesome. If you haven't, I hope you do so. I will see you in the next one.